Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, except for today, because we're doing that thing again, where we celebrate a phenomenal amount of new subscribers by highlighting some more of your best channel comments. Enjoy! So I'd like to begin this video with a comment from Adolf Hitler, which is a sentence I never thought I'd be saying. 2 minutes 26 seconds. Is that Thanos boat? Hitler is of course referring to the Moby Dick which appeared in my top 5 best ships video, and you know what, come to think of it, it does look an awful lot like Thanos. Thank you for bringing that to our attention, Hitler. Speaking of famous figures, it would also appear that the CIA have taken a keen interest in my videos. Don't mind us, just monitoring. Seems legit, I guess. Moving on, I recently did a video on the top 5 unexplained powers in One Piece, and JC not kindly provided me with an example of an unexplained power that I may have missed. 1, 2, Django. Z, 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 z. And it seems he fell asleep. After which Colton Williams had to step in and say, seriously, did he really put himself to sleep? And yes, it would appear he did, but at least he made a decent point while doing so. Speaking of decent points, Kyle Clay doesn't have one, all as a result of a simple autocorrect whilst attempting to type Fishman Island in response to my top five best islands list. Only time Irishman Island will be number one. But you know what, come to think of it, when I look back on Fishman Island there was a surprising amount of Irish imagery going on, and I just can't believe I've never noticed it before now. So thank you very much Kyle Clay for bringing that to my attention. Something else commenters really enjoy bringing to my attention is any time I make any sort of mistake, which happens quite frequently, a trend which William Preto picked up on. You get at least one fact longer per video. I don't know if it's your source material or translations, but I see it a lot. And William, I have to yell your name because it's in all caps. My apologies for getting facts wong. I'll attempt to get less facts wong in the future. I mean, it was just wong of me to have ever done so in the first place. Now let's transition into some more hardcore criticism from Moon Man VVV. This bitch tries to be more cringer than teching 101. And I'd like to emphasize the word tries there. Look, maybe I'll get there one day, but that is one hell of a tall mountain to scale. Instead, let's focus on a rather dissatisfied user by the name of Cheese D Hat, who had strong opinions about my top five best hats list. I am truly triggered. And this is clearly because he was not featured on the list. Apologies, my cheese based ally, but perhaps Land and Plays games can make you feel a bit better about your own personal situation with his response to my video on the Gomu Gomu no Mi. I have a small dick and I really wish I could eat this fruit so I can make it longer. And from there in came Tyler the Big Boy to ask what is now on all of our minds. Real question, how long? I guess it's more like real question, how long? Tyler misplacing the question mark there, turning the statement part into a question and the question part into a statement. Ah, good old English. But let's forget that because it's now time for the top 10 list of the week featuring special guest Shameful Name. This week I have asked Shameful to put together a list of the top 10 strongest characters in One Piece. Shameful, how did you go? Top 10 strongest characters. Number three, Nami. Number two, Chopper. Number three, again, God Usopp. Shameful name, clearly not quite understanding the concept of what a, what a top 10 list actually is. All right, well, let's clean up this mess by getting down to business. Last week, you were all posed an absurdly important question from Chloe D. Fire, who inquired as to whether or not, can ass eat Wapol? And well, Chloe, we have our answers. First up, we have the sly silver fox who clearly lands in the affirmative camp. What kind of question is this? How do you think he became such a shitty villain in the first place? And that's a fair point. There you have it, a potential explanation for Wampol's origin story. But the sly silver fox wasn't the only user to express an affirmative opinion though, as we also have Horst Der the second. Yes, but only Wapol's ass can it Wabol, and only if Wapol ate ass beforehand. Horst Der the second, laying down some conditions I'm not entirely sure I understand there. But never fear, because at least we have Robert K to make some sort of sense, I hope. Depends what devil fruit the arse has eaten, which is a fantastic point, although rather unfortunately the arse is unlikely to have eaten the Baku Baku no Mi, owing to the fact that Wapol already has it. So let's move on to a more philosophical answer from the Nutrix. What came first, Wapol or ass? Wait a minute, that's not an answer at all. How dare you answer a question with another question? Why I yoda. But to conclude things, we are going to highlight a comment by Metal87Power, who I think sums up all of our feelings on the matter. Wapol sucks. Thank you. 
So with that we are going to call this question rather adequately answered and move on to our next curious inquiry which this time comes from Kumashiro who has some confusion about the age old debate surrounding the name of everyone's favourite lightning god, Enel. Is it Enel or Anel? So I very much look forward to your answers to that. But that pretty much does it for this edition of the best channel comments. If you enjoyed this video then feel free to like, favourite or subscribe and if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel then please feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.